Georgia. This is our next leg of the trip for Southern Sky Chalet. Jim is in front of me in the U-Haul and we're going up there to start making some changes to this place. Stay tuned. Okay, so we finally made it to Southern Sky Chalet 12 hours later. Oh my gosh, traffic was horrible. But well, we made it. It is going on 8 o'clock. We left like 7.30 this morning. We had a few stops, so temperature out here is about 70 degrees right now. Feels really cool. Sun is about to go down, but just wanted to get a couple of clips in. There's Jim. He was a champ driving that truck down here. I was so nervous. All right, we're here. We're about to uh, go and... Have my truck driving cap on. Huh? Yeah. This is my truck driving cap. <laughs> We're gonna go and uh, get something to eat in town and um, unload that monstrosity tomorrow. So day two at Southern Sky Chalet. This is our view where we woke up. Feels like it's about uh, maybe about 60 degrees out here. Could be a little bit cooler with the wind, but it feels fabulous to me after having weather in the 90s in Florida. And it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's the morning of day two. It's about 8.15 in the morning in Sautina Coochie, Georgia. And then this is our house. We spent the first night here. No issues, everything was cool. We actually thought it would be a harder time getting the truck here and it wasn't as bad. We already put some of the chairs down, as you can see back there. Um, so we're on our way up to Home Depot. We got to start buying stuff. They opened up at six. We sort of snoozed a little bit much. We were tired from the drive. So today we're going to finish offloading that truck, try to get everything into the house. And uh, we have some more furniture to pick up at our property manager's office. This is kind of the mess in the house that we've already started. But the walls were painted, so they look so much better. It's gonna look great when we're done. I'm excited. Bedroom to the left as soon as you come in. Also looking to see what I need as far as pictures for this room. These are all the walls that I have. And this is the bathroom. Not much space in here, but I could get a bathroom picture. And this is the room that Christian is in. These are the walls here. Figure out what I may want to put in here. Uh, I'm also thinking about putting up some sort of solar lighting system down here so we can see the way down when it's dark, because it is kind of dark. I'm gonna try to go downstairs without falling. Walking around out here, you can hear animals walking out in the woods and then this is going to be our fire pit area right there and then we're going to put some sort of post so we can put some lights going from up here out to there and back and then we got to figure out powering for that we are headed out to go shopping for southern sky chalet and we're going to be coming up on a little waterfall that's not too far from the house it's kind of cool we saw it yesterday so there's Dina recording she's talking about the waterfalls and there you can see several of them all the way coming back so not far from the house you've got this little baby waterfall this reminds me of being a kid going down to Maryland and being with my family in the country and going down to the creek so it was so hot outside but we would go put our feet in the water in the creek and it would cool you off i just can't even describe how this feels right now and there's a little bridge that goes right over it i guess that goes up to somebody's property they see this recording hi oh can you see that so there's the bridge who knows where that goes
So by doing that, we bypass that one. Look at all the cows. They're all chillaxing. Turn. So this is the entrance. So this is what the sun setting in Helen, Georgia looks like. It's a little warm, but we're hoping to be able to have a fire outside tonight. Harvest putting together a bug zapper. To, so hopefully that helps with the mosquitoes. I am not a mosquito. And we got a bit of a mess inside, but it's coming together. Tomorrow will be drastically different. And then Monday should be all wrapped up. Stay tuned. Sunday morning and I missed the sunrise but look at that view I gotta thin out some of those trees there there's the fire pit we just started working on last night little by little it's getting there still haven't tried out the spa maybe we'll do that today and Dina's in there organizing how are you Dina good it's nice and cool out here. So it's about 8.30 p.m. Sunset is happening very soon. We are grilling. We're ready to open up our brew. Doing some fajita style. Cuts of strips of meat, so I've got it on there. That's looking good. We'll give it about two more minutes and then we'll flip it over. And now let's go on inside and see how Dina is doing. There's Dina. So it's ice cold. Dina's drinking a brie, brew. Is it good? So this changed a lot. New sofa. We got rid of all the old stuff. We're still waiting on a coffee table. Little by little, it's coming, getting to getting there. You excited? Enjoying your beer? Oh yeah. I am in my zen mode right now. I am in my happy place. Let's go check on our steaks. Mmm, it's looking good. Look at that. Some right there. Mmm. Looks like a commercial. <laughs> what am I supposed to This say? is our first home cooked meal. In Southern Sky Chalet. What is this? Um, this is spinach and brown and wild rice, mm -hmm. fajita steak, corn on the cob, mm -hmm. and then we have some flour tortilla shells. The home is still a work in progress, but a lot of changes already have been happening. 